Okay, this is Spencer Colgan. Welcome back to our wallpaper channel. And right now, we are installing the peel and stick mural. And we have two seams. Now, we put up three sheets of wallpaper, which gives us two seams. But this peel and stick doesn't give us a lot of room for leeway. And so what you don't see in the video is that the wallpaper sheets are overlapped by no more than a half of an inch. And where John is putting his hand, he's making sure that the seam is, is down before he cuts it. And he only has less than a half of an inch to pull his blade through the double sheet so that we make our own seam by what's called a double cut. But normally on a double cut, you give yourself enough room, at least an inch, but with this, there's a line drawn down, a vertical line, so you have to be really good. And it helps, depending upon where the line is, if you're a lefty or a righty. Now I had John do it because he's a righty, and I'm a lefty. If you just watch what he's doing, you'll understand why it would be better for a righty to do it. <clears throat> now we keep the blade on the wallpaper and we don't take it up once we start the cut so that we have one continuous seam. And he's doing it very methodically and consequently very slowly because as I said there's very little room for error. So if you have this peel and stick and you think that you could do it alone or on your own, this is what you're up against. Now, although John looks like he's about 35 with his beard, I can assure you that he's only 21. <clears throat> We're going to show you the entire cut, so just bear with us. If you want to fast forward in the video, please feel free. But we do want to show you the entire double cut in order for you to know what's involved with this, with this peel and stick. So that if you should buy one of these things off of eBay or Etsy or wherever, you understand what you're getting into. They're not easy, especially for a homeowner who's never hung wallpaper before. <clears throat> What he's trying to do is to make the cut right on the edge of the wallpaper that's overlapping. So the sheet that he's penetrating is the sheet that's underneath it. The sheet against which the blade is riding is the one to the left. And so if we make them meet, we've got a perfect seam. Is that right, John? Mm -hmm. So that's why he's not using the guide. He's actually freehanding it using the edge of the overlapping wallpaper, which is straight because we've made it all plumb. And he's using that with a very sharp 18 millimeter blade with an Olfa knife, O-L-F-A, <clears throat> in order to make this cut. and you see the way the body has to be positioned in order to make such a cut. Your eyes have to be literally right on top of it and your arms bent in such a way so that you don't speedily pass through the wallpaper by dragging your arm too quickly through it. So your arm actually has to be in a position where it's not going to drop with the blade in hand and cut through more wallpaper than you desire. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
you'll notice toward the end of the cut, the hand will get in the way, the blade will get in the way, but we literally pull the blade up and make it horizontal parallel with the floor as best as we can and as far as we can go. And once the blade stops naturally, we simply stop, turn the blade around and use a guide and go two or three inches from the bottom to the top if we have to. In which case, John didn't have to do it. But that's what we do when we can't go any further down. And so what he's doing is taking off the extra strip. You can see how little room for error you have. That's less than a half of an inch of strip of paper. And now we're mending the seams together from the two sheets of wallpaper, through which we just made a double cut seam. you have your seam. As you can see, it's flawless. And it takes a steady hand to make such a seam. I can't emphasize how important it is that you're, you're familiar with the double cut process. It's not something you want to do the first time and expect that you're going to do it successfully. You want a little room for error. If, you, if you're hanging a peel and stick, this would not be the time that you want to try out doing a, a, a double cut simply because these murals are so expensive starting at around $400 a mural and there you have it so if you like the video do me a favor click on like and subscribe to our channel click the bell when you subscribe so that you get all future videos we post content at least three, vid three videos a week pertaining to wallpaper installations. And soon we're going to be doing a video on a new tool that is out on cutting double seams. It's an expensive one made in Germany, but we're going to show you, if you're a wallpaper installer, the hottest tools on the market. Again, this is Spencer Colgan. You can reach us at 813-666-7002. We work the entire Tampa, St. Pete, Sarasota, community, both residential and commercial. Visit us on the web at www.spencerholden.com. Or if you need wallpaper for the finest selection and the greatest deals, contact www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. And please remember that quality is not expensive, it's priceless.